and here we want to create the highlight tables so as you can see down there for highlight tables you need one or more dimension and one measure all right so let's select a very simple one sales and uh, product subcategory and let's try to create it and if you see it's very intuitive uh, from by looking at this sum of sales uh, range that uh, range with the dark darker side is having the more sales and uh, lighter side is having less sales and as you can see art and fasteners and labels are having less sales whereas chairs and phones are having more sales now this information is good but we, we can make it better by let's say adding state and we can add it over here like this and here we have a much better information of uh, information and we can for better representation we can change it to this like this and uh, now I think pretty much every information is coming within a single page and you can scroll up and down a little bit to look at the information and information as you can see is highlighted based on the cross section of the data and uh, which is making it an uh, impactful visualization and a table to see and uh, apart from this uh, you have the option of uh, removing the color uh, from sales or you can remove the range from sales to something else so let's say we want it to be by um, maybe profit so once we do that here we have profit and it indicates where the profit is less by having this orange side of color like this and blue is basically indicate a good profit like this 43184 machines in new york so that really helps identifying what what's really going on with our visualization and uh, help us take the quick decision based on the information that is present over here and uh, apart from this uh, there is nothing much that i can show but uh, there are always some parameters filters and other things that you can set and make the table more meaningful apart from this you can change the palette uh, from this particular color to some other color based on your need or organizational needs or color needs about how you want to show the negative profit and positive profit by simply going into the colors go to edit colors and select the palette maybe green or and green to gold and click ok and you can see the information in a different way if, if that's how you want to see it so you can change the properties as you wish and but that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic